Welcome to iOS 9, where it's not about recreating the wheel, but making the wheel better. With iOS 9, you'll need a lot less free space on your phone to be able to install the upgrade. That's a good thing. Apple also promises better battery life with iOS 9. Not only have they optimized apps to be more power efficient, but there's a new power saving mode. Four years ago, Apple introduced Siri, its first virtual assistant, and things were a little bit rocky. Siri didn't work as often as she did, and when she did work, things were kind of slow. The good news is that in iOS 9, Siri is a lot better. And that's important because she's all over the operating system. Swipe right on your main home screen to get a set of recommendations and news. The suggestions include a set of intelligently selected contacts, apps, news, and places nearby based on your previous behavior and the time of day. You can ask for a game score and then follow up by asking when the team plays again without having to restate your question. You can also ask Siri to look through your phone contacts. Show me photos from June, or show me photos from Portland, or show all of my texts with Allie. The Notes app got a big update, and it's now a lot more robust. You can add images, to-do lists, and drawings. The Maps app gets a big overhaul. No longer does Apple Maps suck, it's actually gotten pretty good. Not only can you find places nearby to eat and locations nearby, but there are transit directions too. The News app is Apple's answer to Flipboard, and it's an easy way to read the news on your phone or tablet. It doesn't have an offline mode, which seems odd, but there are already tons of publishers on board and the reading experience is solid iOS 9 is on more than just the phone, and on the iPad, we get multitasking for realsies. Using a feature called Slide Over, you can pull open a smaller view of an app such as Twitter, Notes, or your web browser, and see it in a smaller frame alongside the app you're in. If you want to go full hog, you can open up two apps in a split view. Both apps are running at full pace, and this is useful if you want to watch something while taking notes or copy a citation. The best feature might just be picture in picture. This lets you pop out a video to position around your screen while you're doing something else, such as playing a game or taking notes. The iPad also now supports better text selection, and there's a new shortcut bar plus improved keyboard support. Taking it all in, the best part of iOS 9 is that it works the same as iOS 8, it just works better. It works the way you want your phone to work. Apple didn't focus on whiz-bang features, they focused on making the existing features work the way they're supposed to iOS 9 is available for download now for the iPhone 4S and higher and the iPad 2 and higher.